He's a dude with a beard, his views aren't a dime a dozen, sometimes he wears a hat, but sometimes he doesn't. Hello YouTube, it is your driver, and today I have a product to review for you. As a matter of fact, I have three products to review for you. Um, and as you can see, I have a beard here on my face, and like everyone that grows out a beard, the first thing you want to do is go out and buy some products for your beard. Uh, I've been really bad about buying products uh, for beards because I just let my stuff grow and it goes wild and it'll look like a caveman or a lumberjack or whatever. Um, I don't really get into the whole products when it comes to beards. Like for example, they sell beard oils, they sell beard washes, they sell wax, they sell all kinds of different things like bombs, etc. And I finally decided, you know what, maybe I'm missing out. Let me give this stuff a try. Uh, and so I need to say up front, if you're watching this video because you're thinking about buying these products, that I don't have anything to compare it to. This is gonna be my first time using any sort of beard product, but I wanted to do a video to let you know what I think about it. Um, and maybe this will help you decide whether or not you actually want to buy uh, these products. So what are the products? I have just now received in the mail three different little packages from a company by the name of Badass Beard Care. That is the name of their company, Badass Beard Care. They have a website, badassbeardcare.com but I purchased these products on Amazon. So let's go and open up these packages and see what is inside. All right, inside the first bag, I have the Badass Beard Wash. It's got a nice little uh, horse on it. The next package here inside is, it is the Outlaw. Outlaw Beard Bomb, the Outlaw Beard Bomb. Let me give you a quick close up. Looks like that. All right, click close up of the beard wash. It looks like that. And lastly, in the third package, we have the Outlaw from Badass Beard. Well, this is Badass Beard Oil. Give you a quick close up there. Looks like that. So the three products I got is beard wash, which is what you use in the shower when you're washing your hair. You use a specific type of wash for your beard. And that is because regular shampoo or other types of soaps will take all the oils and good things in your beard out, dry out your skin, dry out your beard, and supposedly it's gonna make y'all itchy and dandruffy in your beard, and uh, supposedly this stuff just moisturizes and helps clean your beard in ways that regular soap and shampoo cannot do. As far as the beard balm goes, the purpose of this is to shape your beard. To, if you have little scraggly hairs popping out to the side like I do, uh, supposedly you should be able to shape it, make it look really nice and lay the way you want it to lay. Lastly, you have the beard oil, all right? So this beard oil is not meant to shape your beard. It is meant to rub into your skin under your beard. Anyone that has a beard can tell you, beards get really, really itchy. You're constantly feeling like you got to scratch underneath that thing. And so the oil basically, uh, I would say, moisturizes your skin uh, so that way it prevents itch. And I have the worst itch, and I will be honest, I have the worst beard dandruff too, unless I'm constantly washing it, right? Uh, which you're not supposed to do with regular soap and shampoo. So that's why I bought these products and I'm hoping they'll help. I hope they'll take away the beard dandruff. I hope they'll take away the itch. And most of all, I hope they make my beard look a little bit nicer. So the two products I picked out uh, are both called the Outlaw. Now the Outlaw refers to the scent. This particular company has lots of scents. When I was picking out what I wanted, they had maybe 10, 15 different smells that you could choose from. Uh, and I just went with this one because Outlaw is described as a mixture between a tobacco and a vanilla. And given the fact that I review vaping devices and I love my nicotine, I thought, why not? Let's go with the tobacco. So let's start this review by opening these products to talk about the scent, because honestly, if it smells bad, I'm not even gonna use it, all right? So I'm just gonna get the, uh, the plastic off of all of these uh, real quick. All right, so I'll start with the beard wash. Now the beard wash isn't, can, isn't the outlaw scent, okay? It, it's its own scent, and it's described as a peppermint, uh, eucalyptus, and uh, tea. 
uh, tea tree. It's a peppermint eucalyptus tea tree and it's an eight ounce bottle. Let's just take the top off real quick and give it a quick smell. That smells really good. It's definitely a manly scent, peppermint. I don't even know what eucalyptus is supposed to smell like, but it probably smells like that. I would definitely wash my beard with this stuff. And I'd probably come out of the shower feeling like a million dollar man because of this scent. It's good stuff, I can tell. Uh, I'm not gonna be washing my beard in this video, so I'm not gonna be reviewing the shampoo, but I'll post a comment down below later to give you my thoughts on the shampoo or beard wash itself, um, and I'll tell you how it feels and how I like it and all that. But uh, for, the video, for the review video, I will use some of the oil and some of the beard balm, So, because I just took a shower a little bit ago, so I don't need to take another one. So let's open up the beard balm. Jesus, okay. There we go. Just like a little waxy type residue in there, you know, it's uh, firm. Wow, that smells good, but hmm. It's not what I expected. So to me, the smell kind of reminds me of a candle. Like if you were to go to, oh, what's that popular place uh, that sells candles? Uh, anyway, long story short. So to me, it smells like a candle. It smells like a Christmassy vanilla candle. It's not a bad scent. Uh, I probably would have liked something that smelled more like this, a little bit more manly. Like this is a manly scent, but I don't smell any tobacco or any manliness to it. It's just like a, like a vanilla candle that you would smell it like your grandma's house. All right, so the next thing up is the beard oil, which is supposed to be the same scent as the beard bomb. We're gonna open this thing up and smell it. Yeah, it kind of smells a lot like the Beard Bomb. I mean, it's supposed to. They're supposed to both be the outlaw scent. Um, but it's not bad. Uh, I would have liked it to be a little bit more rugged and manly, probably. But we'll see what my wife has to say about it. And if she likes it, I'm happy. That's all that matters. So let's go ahead and hop over to my bathroom. And we're going to put in some oil and some balm and see what I have to say about it. Here we go. All right, so we're in my bathroom now. I'm gonna start by putting on some beard oil, but I got this electric brush. And basically what it does is it, uh, it heats up to almost 400 degrees. You can set the, uh, the power on it. Uh, you can go from 360 degrees all the way up to 400 degrees and it gets really, really hot, but it's nice and protective. Uh, and so what's nice is when you comb your beard at like 400 degrees, it actually straightens your beard out. And that's been working really well for me uh, before uh, I decided to buy some of these other products. I've just been experimenting with different things for my beard and I really like this. I'll put a link down below in the, uh, in the description uh, if you wanna check this product out. It's really nice, I would recommend it. I'll probably do a whole different video just on this. Uh, but to give you an idea, you can see it real, right there. See how the temperature is going up? Uh, it's counting, uh, it's at 230 degrees. Uh, hopefully you can see that there. You just kinda comb your beard with it and when it gets real hot, it's not hot yet, but when it gets real hot, it'll start straightening out my beard uh, and it's not perfect. It's not like a flat iron kind of straight, but it, uh, it's, it, it does straighten out quite a bit and it also feels really nice. There's something special about that nice warm comb going through your hair. It just feels really good. Um, so I'm gonna do a real quick brush and then I'm gonna put the oil in. I don't know if you can tell the difference, but basically it lays down all the crazy hairs that pop out on the side and makes it really kind of, uh, well, it makes it straighter, okay? So we got that out of the way. Let's go ahead and put on some of this beard oil. Now I know from watching other videos that when it comes to beard oil, you really don't want to put a lot on there. Uh, so, I, <laughs> and I also want to mention, I'm not a beard expert. Uh, like I said, this is my first time doing this. So I'm just going to take a little drop and put it in my palm. I'll do two drops actually. And I'm going to rub it, rub it in. Actually, I think I need a little bit more. Ooh, that's, I'm gonna put just a little bit more. He's a dude with a beard. His views aren't a dime a dozen. Sometimes he wears a hat. I'm trying to get it all up on my skin. You know, you don't really necessarily need it in your beard beard. You want it more on the skin under there to keep your skin nice and moisturized. Uh, and I will say, once I put this on my hands and started rubbing it in, it smells way better than it smelled over there in my kitchen when I first opened it. Uh, it doesn't smell like one of those candles I was mentioning. It actually smells a lot better. 
Interesting. So I got the oil in. Let's go ahead and test out this bomb stuff. I've never used a beard bomb before. I've actually never even used a bomb in my hair before. Uh, that's not, I don't really use bomb type products, but so anyway, you can just kind of scoop it. Hopefully you can see that it's real easy. It's not like a hard wax. It just comes out real easy. I'm just going to get a little bit on my finger. Um, I don't want to use too much. I'm going to rub it around in my palm and then I'm just going to get it in the beard. Rub it in. Oh, I got some in the back of my hands there. Rub it in. There we go. And again, same with the scent. This, when I put it on my beard and in my hands, it doesn't smell like what it smelled like in the kitchen. So when you smell it directly, it's kind of got a funky candle smell. But once they start rubbing it on you, it's not the same scent. It's a lot better. And yeah, this stuff does hold down like all the crazy hairs everywhere. It looks a lot better now. God, it's gonna get, so anyway, uh, that's the beard bomb for you. As you can see here, uh, it looks a lot better than it did earlier. Um, I'm impressed. Uh, it smells good. I probably won't buy this scent again, to be honest. I like more of a, uh, like a manly scent. This is definitely very vanilla-y. I don't smell any of the tobacco that's supposed to be in it, um, but it is a very nice scent. I'm sure my wife will approve. Um, last thing I need to do is wash my hands because as you can see, they're very shiny and greasy because of that beard bomb. Let's wash my hands really, really fast because I wanted to see how easy it is to get off your hands. Okay, so on Amazon, I saw a comment that said it was really hard to wash your hands and get the stuff off. Uh, for me, I had no issue, it came right off. So if that's one of your concerns, don't worry about it. When you wash your hands, the stuff comes right off. It doesn't get stuck, uh, but that's it. So if you think you're gonna like this product, I like it. I'm gonna continue buying this stuff. I'll probably go with a different scent next time, but I'm gonna put a link down in the description to where you can get these items. Uh, and, and that's it. If you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. Like I said, I will do a, a quick update in the comments about the beard wash to tell you what I think about that. The smell on that is amazing. I can't wait to use that. Also, if you haven't done so already, please hit that like button, hit that subscribe, follow me on Facebook, on Snapchat or Instagram at It's Your Driver. Uh, that's I-T-S, It's Your Driver. Uh, and that's it. Until next time, have a wonderful day. Attention all viewers. Your driver is in great danger. He needs your help to convince more companies to give him free stuff so he can review it for you. So to help him, all he needs for you to do is subscribe to his channel and like his video. But you've got to be quick. So be sure to hit that bell icon and turn on notification. And don't forget to add him on Snapchat, Instagram at It's Your Driver. Oh, and while you're here, feel free to check out some of the other videos right over there. Let's go. Boom. Oh, and one more thing. Do it. Do it now.